So, do you want to move a tree fern? Perhaps you have one in your garden, but it's not in the right place. Or a friend has one in their garden, and they've said you can have it, but as long as you come and take it away. So, how easy is it to move a tree fern? It is easy, and it can be done successfully. Obviously, if it's a large tree fern, you'll need two or possibly even three people. But stay tuned, and here we'll show you how. It's Alexandra from the Middle Size Garden, with gardening tips, ideas and inspiration from real gardens for your garden. This way of moving a tree fern works equally well whether you're in Britain, Australia or anywhere in between. Moving a tree fern isn't difficult but it is hard work. Depending on its size you may need one or more people to help. In this video we're moving a very large Dixonia tree fern over 10 feet high. If your tree fern is smaller the method is the same, it'll just be easier. First decide where you will move your tree fern to and dig a hole so that you can lower it in immediately. The tree fern root system runs all the way up what we would call the trunk. The trunk itself is the root system. So the roots don't go deeply into the ground. It'll be a bit more secure if you bury it a little deeper than it was before you dug it up. And for this tree fern we dug a hole maybe two feet square or maybe 70 centimetres square. And think about the position too. Tree ferns may look exotic, but they don't like very strong sun. So a shady sheltered spot is better than a really sunny one. Here's the tree fern we plan to move. To make it easier, chop off at least half of the leaves. You can chop them all off as they regrow quickly, but of course you'll just have a stump to look at until they regrow. Then dig around the base of the tree fern with a sharp spade or a mattock to loosen it. Tree fern roots may not go down deep, but they are quite tough. Once you've dug right around the fern, push it and wobble it to loosen it further. Then hack away again and then more pushing. It took us about 20 minutes of hack, push, wobble, hack, and then pulling the tree fern right down to the ground and then as far as possible to the left and then as far as possible to the right before finally getting it out. A tree fern this size is extremely heavy, so you'll need some form of tractor or trailer if you're taking it any distance. As we were only moving it from one side of the garden to the other, we left some leaves on, but if you were taking it from one garden to another, you'd probably chop all the leaves off. The last few yards was down some steps, so it was one, two, heave, one, two, heave, down the steps. And then we edged the tree over and swung it into the hole. Then you push the tree up and fill in the earth around the hole, stamping it in firmly. With a tree fern this size, we decided we needed some support too, but smaller tree ferns are less likely to fall over. Then water thoroughly around the base of the tree. Finally, leave the hose in the very top of the tree fern on a very slow drip for at least four hours. Until the tree fern has re-established itself, you'll need to water twice a week unless it rains. Tree ferns recover remarkably quickly from the move. This is an emerging frond of a smaller tree fern that was moved less than a month ago. It's beautiful, I think. So if this has been helpful, do hit like or leave a comment below if you've had experience of moving tree ferns. And subscribe to the Middle Size Garden YouTube channel. We upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays with gardening tips, ideas and inspiration from real gardens so that you can make the most of your middle-sized garden. Hope to see you again. Thank you.